everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video you are going to learn one another important functional form of regression i have already done one video where i have explained the log linear model which is a very important model from the perspective of econometrics so this is another kind of model if you wish to see that video you can go to the link in the description box below so in today's video we are going to discuss semi log models over here so when i talk about semi log models as the name is telling you that there is going to be log but it's going to be in a semi way in a half way over here so when i talk about semi log models either the log will be available along with the dependent variable or log is present along with independent variable all right so we have two kind of semi log models so let me first discuss the model where my log is going to be present with my dependent variable over here so when i say it is present with dependent variable what form my regression can take is so it it can be like this y i equals to y not 1 plus r raised to power t over here so this t is in power here right it's like this correct now in that video i told you whenever you get functional forms like this in the regression you always have to proceed by taking the log of it so if i take log on both the sides i will be getting log y i plus log y equals to log y o plus t will come in front t log 1 plus r over here so this is what i'm going to get now since i was telling you in that video where i did log linear models that i want to convert my models into linear form so that i can easily approximate them with the help of ols right so i can take because i need my parameters the parameters can never be without linear form so i'm assuming log y i equals to beta 1 like this so that it will become linear similarly over here if you think that t is going to be your slope parameter because it is in linear and it's just going to be like this uh, okay so when i was doing the log linear model wala video over there we were getting a equation something like this so we said that okay these are this is explanatory this is the dependent variable this i assumed as beta 1 beta 2 was already linear but over here don't make this mistake that you assume log 1 plus r to be your explanatory variable and you assume t as your slope estimate no they are not because we are already working with semi log model and we are working where log is just present with dependent variable so how can the log be present with your independent variable it cannot so it means log 1 plus r is going to be your slope parameter the slope estimator so i'm assuming log 1 plus r equals to beta 2 over here so my model will become log y i beta 1 t i'm not assuming log 1 by uh, log 1 plus r beta 2 into t plus random error term so this is my final equation so can i now estimate it with the help of ols yes because if it fulfills each and every assumption of my classical linear regression model i can estimate this equation with the help of ols so if i do that what will be the interpretation of beta 2 because that is of the most importance that what the beta 2 is telling me because in most of your objective papers also or subjective papers also you are given with models and you have to answer something which is related to beta 2 maybe they are asking ki okay if this is the regression model and if i'm going to bring this much change in my explanatory variable what will be the change in your dependent variable so understanding the interpretation of beta 2 is really necessary so what is the meaning of beta 2 over here so if i write this thing log y i equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 t plus mu i over here now beta 2 always tell you the changes in 
your dependent variable which is log y i due to changes in your explanatory variable which is t over here. So, I am going to write t as my explanatory variable here. So, if I want to take derivative of log y i with respect to t, what it is going to be? It will be 1 by y into dy by dt, right? This is what I am going to get over here. So, it means beta 2 hat is equal to dy by y upon dt over here. Now, in the log linear model, I told you the percentage rule, how to convert the value of change into percentages. So, similarly, over here, what is beta 2 telling me? Beta 2 is telling me the proportionate change in y due to absolute change in my t, which is my explanatory variable over here. So, it means if t is going to change by one unit, beta 2 is telling me what will be the proportionate change in y i. But talking in terms of proportionate change becomes a little difficult. So, it is always a better idea to convert your proportionate change into percentage change. So, to convert the proportionate change of y, I can multiply it with 100 so that this thing, the numerator becomes in percentages, right? But beta 2 is the thing I am marking in my bracket. So, it means whenever I will be multiplying my beta 2 hat with 100, I will be getting the percentage change in my y i. So, a very important tip again here for the interpretation of beta 2 is whenever the log is present with dependent variable in case of semi log models and you have to tell the percentage change in y i due to the absolute change in the explanatory variable, you always have to multiply your slope with 100 to get that percentage change unlike in the log linear model. So, if I multiply my beta 2 with 100, I will be getting the percentage change in my y i. Now, what are the economic applications of this log linear or the semi log mo model over here? So, this is semi log. I wanted to write. So, it is going to be semi log model. What are the economic applications of semi-log model? They are well used for measuring growth rates. So, whenever we have to measure the growth rates in certain things, we use the semi-log models because the parameter R over here is giving me the growth rate. So, I have an equation. Final equation is this log y i equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 into t plus mu i, where beta 2 is what? It is log 1 plus r. So, this r over here is telling me the growth rate. Now, how can I convert it? It's very easy. I can take anti-log with beta 2 because when I take anti-log here, 1 plus r will be left. So, r is equal to anti-log beta 2 minus 1. So, I can get my growth rate from this model. So, semi-log models where the log is present with dependent variable, they are used for measuring the growth rates in my certain models. So, this was the interpretation of beta 2 in a semi-log model. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We have videos on the other functional forms of regression as well. For that, please download the app for which you can get link in the description box below. And if you want more videos from us, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching.